Morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and to make sure I got my delivery today we've gone and picked it up. So we're at APC, there's a sign somewhere that says APC but we're at APC. So we're going to go take them to the shop now because I wanted to make sure I got it because they were running around and worked time I was going to get it. So we said I'll come and get it so there's no hassle. So please like, subscribe, comment, share and I'll see you when we're back at the shop. <laughs> we made it back to the shop, we've got my big delivery. So but before we open it I've just been to the back and the chameleon is asleep in the most coolest position ever. So we're going to be really, really quiet. Really quiet and have a look, try and catch him in this position. He's literally like hanging from his tail. <laughs> Hanging from his tail, and then he's got his head just on the vine. <laughs> his back legs are just swinging in the wind. <laughs> oh, he's a funny chameleon, he is. He's funny. Start opening some of the boxes and see what we've got inside. So, the first one has got live inverts in. So, we'll see what we've got inside. <laughs> so in here we should have some sunny sticking sets little customer order ah right at the bottom that's mine oh they look lovely there's the sunny sticking sets looking cool I've never seen one like that but we have had one Oh, sorry, buddy. There you go. So this one has tried to shed in the box. And he's all deformed. He's lost a couple of legs and stuff like that. So he's not looking very good at the moment. Poor thing. But we try and look after him. Give him a spray. See how they get on. So I put the poor thing in there to chill out. We give him a spray, help him soak up some water. The other one's right at the top. So we leave them to chill now. Done. it was just bad timing and he's tried to shed in the box so he's gone all soft shed in the box got all crumpled and then started to harden so he's a bit deformed he's caught a couple of legs and stuff like that so it's probably not gonna make it but we'll do our best by him and then uh, fingers crossed he'll pull through we should have some live plants in this one Ooh. Looking lovely. They're quite cool, aren't they? Okay, I've got a lot of the same one for some reason. <laughs> Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Plenty of air plants. Well, what have we got in this box? Ooh, we got locks, 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 locks. Lovely, so we can get everybody locked away. Oh, it's just a little box of live food. Little box, little box. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? That doesn't look like what I ordered. Come on, out the bag. I mean, it's okay. But I thought this was big. And it's not big, it's ickle. Ickle, ickle, ickle. It would be extremely cool in a shrimp tank, though. That would be cool in a shrimp tank. Oh, oh, oh. Got some lovely fake plants. 
Oh, some air plant adhesive. That comes in handy. Some more plants. Oh, and the other fake one. Ah, oh, bulbs. Lovely. So apparently we are missing one box and we've got one box down there which is just the live food so I'm just going to open that and chuck it on the shelf. So now we can do some stuff with the animals. Ha, ha, ha. So we can go around, we're going to do some little bits of feeding and do a little bookkeep and check everybody's okay and I might pick an animal today and do a little special on one of the animals today. What we might do is how to look after the legendary golden gecko. <laughs> so we do a little upkeep on him because he's really really cool really interesting so uh, we do a little bit of his upkeep and then if I've got enough time we might do some others on some others as well before we do our little chat about the golden gecko we just had a rescue fish come in so can we see him it's a little fire mouth cichlid so uh, he's doing really well I've got, I've got to open him up now and he's got to start doing his dunks for his acclimation so uh, I'll do that now and you'll be able to have a better look at him there he is. He's a little bit skitty at the moment. But we'll, uh, we'll get him set out nice. And I'll get some nice decor in here so he doesn't feel like he's all exposed and open. We'll get some plants and some stuff and make it look a bit better. I just spruced it up a little bit. So he's going to have a dunk now every five minutes for the next, now, say 15 minutes or so. So um, we we'll start on. The Golden Gecko! Let's see what he's doing. Here we are, we're at the legendary Golden Gecko's tank. Waha! So, he's just down there in the corner. So, we'll have a little look at him. Go. So, I'm actually pretty sure it's a female. So, I'll tell you why in a sec. But she's just sat there chilling. We've got to give her a spray. So, spraying is very important because they're like nice high humidity. You're looking at 60 plus on the humidity. Um, and they only drink rain water so they, they go around looking for where leaves have collected water and that's where they drink their water from so oh, he's moved now he's moved so we give him a little bit of a spray and then uh, I'll tell you some more facts about him oh that's the wrong setting definitely the wrong setting that's better We want to spray everything but the bulb. If we spray the bulb, it will explode. I did it the other day at home. It was not fun. Did it by accident. The sprayer got locked. If you push this down and lock that, it stays spraying. And I dropped it, it stayed like that and sprayed the bulb. So it was not fun. So, okay, so she's, we can just see the tip of her tail there. So the reason I know it's a female because the base of their tail is slightly different. So the males have extra length in the base of their tail because that's where all their male parts have kept. So they also have little lumps there as well, which help hide stuff. Um, you can fill in the blanks. <laughs> so uh, that's where, and that's how you can tell it's a male and a female because a female is going to have a nice steady tail with no big lumps at the base. And the male has a little bit extra extension of the base and then he's got those lumps at the bottom. Also nocturnal, so really she shouldn't be out and about. But she's she's normally doing something throughout the day. Um, I try not to mess with them during the day um, too much. Uh, first thing in the morning is usually oh, I'll do something around 10 because they're usually out and about still at 10. Um, then the rest of the day she needs to be left alone really. And then at the end of the day you might be able to do something again with her. Um, now, when, you, when you've got juveniles, you feed them every day. And when you've got the adults, you go down to once every five to six days. So they don't eat that much. But they, uh, they're really, really cool lizards. And they're from South Vietnam. So uh, really humid, really jungly. There's not much on their natural habitat. Um, but they do, they, they assume that they live in um, lowland rainforest. So really really cool lizards I think it's because they're nocturnal they don't get to see what they're doing all the time you'd have to have someone out there with a night camera trying to film them and it's, it's, you're not going to be able to do it so I think that's why it's a bit vague on what they do as a habitat so the males do get a little bit longer probably helps so they got that little bit extra tail going um, the males get between ooh, 6 to 7 inch 
which is, oh, I can't convert that to centimeters, I'm sorry. You just have to Google it, you have to Google it, because I can't do the maths off the top of my head. If I get time, I'll put it there. <laughs> um, and then the females get five to six inch. So there's a, about an inch to two inch between adult males and adult females. Um, really cool, cool lizards. I think I've I, I fell in love with them, I really have. I've only had him for a little bit. But her, uh, sorry, I'm terrible with the names. Just, you just have to ignore me with the he's and she's unless I actually properly say it. Because if I'm just talking, I'll say, I'll say it's different ones all the time. I'm terrible. Also, in the wild, they're quite endangered. Well, not super endangered, but they are on, they've just got to the endangered. So they're all captive uh, farmed and stuff like that now. So it's all captive bred. So there's no going to the wild and catching them anymore, nothing like that. And then they're most likely breeding a, uh, a captive population to repopulate the wild population. So they'll be breeding them in captivity, releasing them into the wild, and then repopulating those areas. Temperatures you're looking at around low end, or 27s, 28s, and the warm ends from talking 30s, 31s, 32s. We don't really want it very dry. Um, you want it nice and humid, nice and warm, nice and damp. So she can go around and have a drink. She doesn't get dried out, helps her shed, because shedding is very important. Because of course, with the geckos, they've got it on their feet and stuff like that. It's very, and being a looking at pet sort of thing. So you're not really gonna be handling this one unless you tame her down a little bit. You won't be going in there and grabbing her and just getting her out. You'd have to do slowly tame and bringing her out. And then you're still not gonna be, you'll have her on here and stuff like that. She might be tame, but she's still not gonna like you pulling stuff and getting stuck shed off. So we'd have to make sure that it's nice and humid in here so her sheds come off steadily as they do. You can see as I've done the shed, spray, sorry, the humidity's coming up and slowly covering up the glass, making it nice and humid in there for her so she's got a lovely environment to chill in. You can also keep females in groups as well and you can keep them in breeding pairs. Uh, but you don't mix two males together because they'll just fight and you, you don't go too mad with the females. I think it's three to four females maximum and you're talking a good size enclosure then. I think they need a 45, 45, 60 for an adult in a permanent enclosure. So uh, this, you'd class this as um, semi-permanent. So he's in here just for a little bit while we find him at home and then he's gonna go into his nice big enclosure. If, you get, if he's here for a longer period of time and it starts to be less temporary, we have to then cater for that and get him a slightly bigger enclosure. And if he grows anymore, we'd have to get a bigger one as well because he's just gonna outgrow this little one. But he's doing absolutely lovely at the moment, which is really, really good. You're looking for adults, you're aiming for about 80 litres worth of tank. So I thought I'd be clever today. I thought, it's a warm day. I thought I'll wear me, I'll, I'll bring some shorts with me. But I forgot a belt, didn't I? We've got pull cords on today, pull cording it up, keeping me trousers. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, he's a numpty, he completely forgot my belt, but how about, pull toys will do, pull toys will do. So we've just done our final dunk, so now we can release him. We have a little bit of a spaz, so we're trying to do it as quick as we can. Come buddy, um, there you go. Oh, there you go, you're free. That's better, isn't it, mate? There you go, you have a little swim round. So there you go, nice and chill down there. So I put that plant there so we can go and hide. Doesn't feel as open. Oh, what a lovely little fish. Also, our locks finally come. So we can get rid of these and put the proper locks on. So I'll show you how to do them because they can be a bit of a pain. And if you don't put it right, it's gonna scratch your glass. So that's no good. So I'll show you how to do them. I gotta be careful because I've got animals in the tanks, which is a bit of a pain. But we can soon sort it out. So, uh, might do that one first. I had a spare piece of glass from when we dismantled one of the old tanks we had from the, the old ones. Um, so we've got the nice new piece, so we can put the new one on. I'll show how to do it on this one. So it can be a little bit fiddly. Job, you need to work out the front and the glass panel, which, which way it is. So on mine, it's gonna be like this. So the door, the other one, is here. <laughs> so they'd lock up so we know now that this is my inside and that's the outside what you could do put a little bit of I don't know marker pen or something that just easily rubs out whiteboard marker pen uh, put that on then and you know which is the front and which is the back because we want the screw holes 
We're going to screw heads on in the back and we want the nice flat shiny piece on the front. If you want a drill or anything like that, nice little hand screwdriver, hand tight is perfectly fine. Any more you've got a chance of breaking the glass which we don't want. So uh, I'll show you what we've got. We've got our screwdriver, our keys and our lock. So it's going to be like this. So we want that on the inside, that on the outside. So we've got to take this apart now and start putting it together. So there we go, we've got four washers, two actual locking pieces and our two screws. What we don't, we don't need that one. So that one can go away. So we have three on this one. Like so. They all go on the side, which is gonna be out and proud outside the tank. So that's how it sits, like that. There we go. And then this sits here and locks in. If you put the washer this side, it just makes it stick out too far and messes it up. So there we go, we've got our little screws now. So we've got our little screws to screw it up. Not too tight on the first one. And then we tighten it up better on this one. Then I'll nip them up tight now and we should be okay. Remember it's just hand tight. There's no really good it really tight. You don't need it. It's just a nice little hand tight now. So we've got it on, looking lovely. So we'll, uh, we'll put it on now, take away the old piece I put in, and we should better put the new one in. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's why we go nice and slow. She bangs into stuff like I've just done. So right in the top slot, and then into the bottom slot, if I can get it in. Oop. Oh, I can't do it one-handed. Oh. Got a little lock in. Nobody can get out. Wah ha ha. So while we're here, we may as well. We've got to do our little jobs for him in the morning. So we turned our UV light on. We're going to give him a little bit of a spray for his humidity. I can actually get it in the tank. I'm doing it left handed, so I accidentally sprayed the glass. He's actually in this lug here. Just about to see him. Right at the end. What we need to do now is we need to find a new source of brambles. Because of course, we're in a new spot, we need to find new brambles. So uh, we're going to have a look over here so we can find some brambles in the nice grassy area. And then we can feed the um, sunny stick insects that arrived today. Because they only eat brambles, they do. So we're all in the dark, there we go. So we're going to find the new, some, oh, there might be a couple of little bits. So we'll see if we can find some, some nice brambly brambles for the sticking six. Ah, it's only a very, very small bramble bush. So we'll leave that here for now, let that grow ready for next year, and we'll go find another source. Bigger one, found a bigger one, so we can dive in, get some snippings, and go feed the uh, sticking six. Thank you, Mr. Bramble Bush. You'll be feeding my boogies. Leave that there. Uh, that's a nice one. That'll do, so we've only got a couple. We don't take more than we need. Whoop, dropped it. And there we go. Give them a little one so over, a little wash in, in the underwater, get any bugs or eggs and that was on it. So we'll put that in there now for them. There should be plenty in there. So we've got that one there. And we've got that one there. I don't think he's much longer for this world, I'm afraid. Before we finish for the day, we'll have a little check on our new arrival, the um, five mouth cichlid. And then uh, he's chilled out now and he's proper displaying nice. So we'll have a little look at him and then I'll finish for the day. He is. Doing really, really well. He's got his fin all up and proud. He's not clamp finned. He's chilled out now. He's got his nice red belly. So we'll we give him some feed tomorrow and I'll probably a water change tomorrow. Right, that's all I've got time for today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me. We are this close to 900 subscribers. So we're smashing it, we are really, really close. 100, I think it was, I think we needed five more for the 900. 
So that means we need a 105 more for the thousand. So we are this close, probably this close. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there, please. <laughs> and if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. I'll see you in the future. Bye.